Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Taikino Beauty. I'm back here with another video. This one's on a nail video. I wanted to show you guys what my nails will look like without cutting my cuticles. I chose a Chanel inspired look. I think you guys will really like it a lot. It's a really pretty nail design. But we're going to get into this. So what you need is alcohol wipes or alcohol, nail glue, in a nail file for this look the brand i bought they supplied me with nail glue i couldn't find the nail glue i usually use that i showed you guys in my last video so we just went with that i should have been skeptical 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 about that um so yes yeah, so while you're putting the nail glue onto your nail and the nail you are going to press it down for some seconds. I'm going to say about 10 seconds, 10 or 20 seconds. What I like about this pack is um, it gave me options for each nail. Like if I wanted the thumb like that or if I wanted a flower or a design on it, it gave me so many options for each nail. So we got the thumb on. Next, we're going to do the pointer finger. I love the gem on it. It was so pretty. The only thing I had an issue with this nail pack is that it had, it wasn't shaped perfectly. It was very weird. It just had a lot of discrepancies. And the nail did feel like plastic compared to acrylic, you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to link this below because towards the end of the day not even week my nails all popped off me and my boyfriend we did a stay in staycation and my nails popped off all of them and I was so horrified about it <laughs> but yes oh this is my favorite nail that Camille LaRose Chanel's known for that that's why I see these as inspired Chanel look looking nails because i feel like if Na chanel had a press on nail pack it would look like that but then we're going on with the next one it's pretty easy you guys i'm really just gonna keep doing these fake nails i actually really like them they're not time consuming and if you buy the right type you'll be fine so this was a wasn't a good type it kept popping off but you just have to find someone who makes nail acrylics and we'll put designs on for you don't worry you guys i got you the pinky stayed on the longest i will say that and i think because you really don't do much with your pinky finger but that stayed on that was a trooper it was going the distance for sure these were definitely shaped weird i definitely tried to file them down but it was pretty tricky i don't like filing my nail down anyways the feeling is weird do you guys get that like weird like putting your hands on the chalkboard and scratching with it that's that feeling i get when i saw down my nails it's weird but we're gonna put some more glue i would not recommend the glue they supply i don't think it's good unless if it's from a more professional place i got this from amazon so i think this was from china i'm assuming i really like the bow details on here i don't like bows but i like it on this nail like i just wouldn't wear bows i just think bows are very kid like it's just not my aesthetic so I'm, i wouldn't wear it but i don't mind it on this nail yeah i do see a difference when you cut your cuticle so i do recommend if you are gonna wear acrylic press on nails to clip your cuticles because it did make a difference or push them back i didn't in this instance i was being lazy well i just wanted to try it but i didn't really like it because you can tell i needed to that's probably why my nails popped off See, I was definitely not confident in the nail glue. I thought the nail glue was good though because I did glue my fingers together at one point. At this point, 
mine some of my nails were longer than the actual nails and i was gonna cut them after see that's me not a fail fi bleh, nail fall filing it in because it has like that weird bump it was just shaped weird but some of my nails were longer than the actual nail and off camera i did cut them i wanted to measure them and then cut them because i still wanted my nails sort of long so i didn't want to overcut. you'll see when i put the oh <laughs> i thought i was putting the forefinger on yeah i definitely should have pushed back my cuticles looking back at this video See, you girl should have knew from jump <laughs> that pointer finger was not going to stay. It's not even fully on the nail. This is just a disaster, you guys, but that's okay. This is lesson learned. We know now to push our cuticles back and cut them. I truly wish I got a picture of my cut nails after the results man because they looked good now we're finishing up if you guys do like wearing press on nails and if you have a great place to go please comment that down below for if you have any suggestions that help keep your press on nails to last long i would like to know because these only lasted a day and i don't want to give you guys the link to these because they only last that long but there we have you guys there are my nails thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video like comment and subscribe thumbs up for more nails videos and i'll see you guys next time later bye